I'd like to introduce you to a couple of techniques that are very useful when painting leaves. I find when I want to give just a little bit of depth to the leaf, I will use my sap green or whatever type of green you're using and tip the end of the brush in dark paint, such as Payne's Gray. So you can see that the brush has green with uh, just the tip in dark color. Then when you go to apply it, you can see that you can get a variation in the color that can be kind of interesting. Here it is again. Just has black along the tip. Let me load it up with green again. And it can be an interesting effect. So give that a try. Another technique I'd like you to try is working again with the same green. I get tired of painting veins um, and trying to paint every single vein. And a couple of years ago, I stumbled on this tip and it works very well. Paint your leaf and just let it dry to the point of being a little bit damp. Run your brush in clear water and then trail it through. All I'm doing is trailing it through the leaf in, in clear water. And you can give a suggestion of vein without overdoing it. Don't want to do every single one. See how that just kind of parts the color and gives a sense of vein without having to do each and every one of them. Let's try that again. So we'll do the leaf. Let it dry just a smidge so that it's a little bit damp. And then just trail water through it. May have to do it a couple times. I find if you practice that a little bit, you'll get the sense of of uh, a hint of vein without overdoing the painting. 